Hello everyone, my name is Adam and this is channel Adam Fuseman. Since 2017 I'm running with my partners the business which is, is like HVAC installations, electrical stuff and plumbing stuff. So recently I decided to move out to the Texas but not just like me kind of just to spread the, some of the business we are doing here in California. So recently I passed examination for obtained HVAC license in Texas and I would like to share with you how I did it and what kind of course I got and how it helped me and what kind of the material I learned and what kind of book, books I bought and how they helped me. Let's go. Okay, the first thing what the first thing how to obtain the license you have to apply to TDLR. It is a Texas what is it? Texas Department of Regulations and Licensing. This is department which is called in California Contractor State License Board. So in Texas it's just to call differently but they are doing the same things as doing in California. So it is, this is just a kind of the government department why, which is controlling the licensing and other regulations. So you have to apply first, uh, at least you have to get four years of experience for the Texas state in Texas or in any other state. For example, in my case, I had my experience in California because I have here more than four years California HVAC contractor license and this way they allowed me to get this examination scheduled. So, as I said, I passed examination for obtained HVAC license in Texas. So for prepare for preparation for this examination I got the two courses so the first time when I get the course which is called at homeprep.com it's just a site for you can take a look in comment in the description below this link so this is very bad in my opinion course and it didn't said me what I can use in examination books and everything so in first try I failed my exam and the same day when I failed I scheduled the next one just to rescheduled I paid $74 more to get scheduled and I scheduled two weeks after and in second time I passed so Second time and second course which I bought, it's called constructiondata.com. The site very helpful. And the idea is for the passing examination is just a very easy and just a kind of the examination. It's checking how well you can use the books. So literally for the past examination for HVAC license in Texas, you have to know how to use books. And the books which uh, you have to know to navigate on these books, they, you have to bring with you, with you. So you just have to buy them and bring with you to get past this exam. So the books I would like to represent and the whole course which is provided by constructiondata.com it's all it's a whole course is just telling how to mark the books how to navigate inside the books how to navigate inside the pages how to make the tabs inside the books so right now i'm gonna run and review each book and show you how to get them tapped all this course just uh, telling you how to do everything but it's just a kind of small review they didn't pay me any penny for this kind of review but it was very helpful 
So I got my um, score 78% out of 100. So 70% it was enough to get this uh, examination passed. So I did my 78 and it was just great and kind of easy, but it's just a little bit was stressful just to like search all this uh, information you have to find in particular pages. So let's get into it and I'm gonna show you what kind of books I had in this examination. So the first book, this is um, International Mechanical Code 2018. So as you see here, I have a tabs and all pages is just uh, with the, here's the admin, which is very helpful for the part of the book, which is uh, connected for the permits, how to obtain the permits and everything. For example, for the boilers, etc., etc. This is book International Mechanical Code and the whole text is working still on these books and the whole regulations and licensing connected to the 2018 uh, codes. So, um, they're gonna provide the first time when I um, tried to pass examination, they provide me this uh, simple ducto letter. You have to know how to use it if you don't know. You, that means you are not real HVAC contractor. I believe that all you guys who are watching this video know what, what duct size calculator does and this is not a problem. Just to bring with yourself this duct calculator. This duct, duct calculator was provided as the materials with construction data. So they just sent me the whole um, box with all these books and with duct calculator. So the next brochure, this is called Air Conditioning and Refrigeration Contractors Occupational Code, Air Conditioning and Refrigeration Contractors Rules and OSHA, kind of OSHA, uh, small briefing of the whole rules. So you can take a look. Here we go. So the next great book you have to have in your preparation process is called International Fuel Gas Cut. IFGC 2018 as well. So the same thing as a tabbing. Here's a whole pages tapped with their specifications of the uh, chapters. So it's easy, easy to navigate. The whole process in constructiondata.com video course is concentrated on finding the needed um, parts of information and get them marked like this, see? So as soon all this data marked, you on examination, if you will find kind of the question, you can answer by using these marks. It's gonna be very helpful in navigation and faster finding the information you need for answer the question. So the next book, which is very huge, it's about 400 pages. It's called Uniform Mechanical Code. As I said, the whole video course is telling how to navigate on these pages, on these books. So it's gonna be very easy to find any information and as well, all pages here marked and all these marks are gonna help you. Uh, I would say not all these marks was useful. Uh, it all depends what kind of questions gonna, gonna appear in your examination. Because first time when I went to the examination and it was a kind of one questions and on the second try, 
I've got the same questions maybe which I had on the first try about 30% of the same. So 70% was different. So the big huge book which was very useful and maybe about 50% of all questions on the examinations it came from here. This is, uh, I would say, very stupid book, very big, and all, a lot of information here, they are not connected to the real field work, and uh, this thing, it's reflected on the course, and the guy who is telling about the how to pass examination by using these books, tabs, and this is pages marked here, as you see, marked as well by me, because whole course is just running through the whole pages, and uh, they are asking to mark the, the places, what you're gonna need, maybe you're gonna need on the examination. So, these books you have to bring to your exam. And the strategy is, from the construction data, is 45, for the first 45 minutes just to run, just to, by answering the, the whole questions in 45 minutes. And then, after you might be past 50%, maybe which are, was very easy, you can go back and answer to the questions which was just marked as kind of very hard to answer. In my experience, maybe in first 45 minutes I marked about more than half questions as hard to answer. So I used to use first 45 minutes for the run the whole 125 questions and then I get back and spent about two, three minutes on each question to find information from these books. Also, you're gonna be provided the calculator just to, just to, to make the mathematical uh, calculations. So, a few questions, maybe about 10 or 15, they are connected to the mathematical simple calculations. So you have to know how to use calculator, at least. I believe everyone know how to do it. And if you will get in first place the constructiondata.com Texas preparation course for HVAC exam, you're gonna be successful on your passing your examination. That's it, easy peasy, I would say. If I would have this second course which I bought in first place, I will get in first time. Because first time I get past only 60% and I didn't have just a 10% because I just didn't bring all these books first time with me. Because there was a lot of table information which I didn't have, for example, um, what uh, subcooling for the air conditioner which is on the high pressure side you have um, 478 psig pressure and uh, f after the condenser the pipe temperature is 110 so you have to find on pressure temperature chart how my how many how much the temperature for the, this particular pressure and then subtract the 110 Fahrenheit temperature. So it's gonna be 20. There is a lot of simple questions. There is a, a lot of questions just uh, by how, just need to remember some of the things. For example, how much um, you can notch the stud or joist or somewhere else or uh, how big you can make a hole in the exterior wall or how how big you can make a hole in interior wall 
something like that. Some of the kind of stupid questions which you have to know, at least how many, what the slope should be for the each feet for the condensation line, like one eighth. So kind of first 45 minutes you can spend very fast just by answering simple questions. And this is whole course, it's telling about it. So a track exam for Texas, it's easy peasy. And, and it's much easier than uh, get past examination on California. In California, you have to get past 66% score. It's kind of easy too, but in Texas, it's four hours and 125 uh, questions. In uh, California, it's three and, three and a half uh, hours for the trade and 110 questions and for the business and law 110 questions as well for three and a half hours so seven hours total so that's it HVAC license in Texas to get easy peasy it was Adam Fuseman with you so I'll see you in the next video I hope this video was very useful for you and I'll see you in the next one